Hey everyone, uh, back again. Uh, it's uh, pretty much day two of the you know official Wild Discipline channel. Uh, instead of cluttering up uh, my account with more you know pretext and uh, <clears throat> giving you know backstory on my tastes and such, let's just jump right into modern day booking, modern day issues of mine, and uh, modern day realities in the uh, in the progress world. So progress world. Uh, so. I think I'll devote this video, uh, I'm not sure if I'll title it yet, but I'll devote this video, and keep in mind this is improvisation, towards the booking, the very curiously odd booking of Morishima Takeshi in 2011. And uh, actually we'll start back as far as December of 2010, I believe it was December, at the Joe Higuchi Memorial Show. Rest that man's soul. Um, at the Joe Higuchi Memorial Show, as uh, many of you already know, Takeshi Morishima faced uh, Sugiyara uh, Takeshi uh, for the GHC Junior Heavyweight. Uh, wow, the GHC Heavyweight Championship, uh, Noah's top belt. For those of you who are just kind of familiarizing yourself with Japanese pro wrestling, um, and uh, as more than many of you know, uh, Sugiura has been the long, long, long since uh, reigning GHC champion. He's still the champion now, uh, and it's. Uh, it's the turn of the month. It's it's on it's May now. <laughs> It'll be May in a day uh, of 2011. He's been the champion since. Uh, I could be wrong about this. Either either two, early either early 2010 or, or late 2009. But he has been champion for a colossal marathon. And um, I'll keep the individual anonymous. I'll keep all the individuals anonymous and towards the or the arguments against Morishima. But I really felt that uh, I really felt that someone needed to make a video in defense of uh, Morishima. Um, now, I suppose to some degree this is, you know, somewhat biased. I'm a rather large fan of uh, Morishima. He's definitely one of my favorite heavyweights. Unquestionably my favorite heavyweight in Noah. Um, just brilliant. Um, I admit I didn't follow his uh, his work in, in ROH. Um, as I've said, stated before, I'm, I'm really not an ROH fan. I've never had fight... I suppose I... To be fair, I've never had uh, Go Fight Live, so I definitely I've given ROH a chance in the past, and I will definitely give them more chances in the future. I'm hearing lots of great things. Uh, you know, Sean Carlton Zero telling me about Eddie Edwards. I'll uh, once again post a link to his channel. He's awesome. Go check him out, guys. Um, so um, yeah, I, I might touch base on that in the future. Um, with Morishima, in this year, um, as many of you know, Morishima lost. He, uh, he was booked to lose against Sugiura back in December, I suppose. This was supposed to strengthen Sugiura. I'm not really sure what the purpose was, to be honest. I felt, I personally felt, though, you know, I don't exactly have an episodic uh, viewing of no, I don't have that option here in uh, Canada. Um, so I can't say I really followed Morishima's climb to the uh, heavyweight match. Um, and how much of a climb or build-up there really was. But, as many of you know, Morishima lost, as I said. Um, really big disappointment for me. Uh, <clears throat> I I think it... Well, I guess it doesn't go without saying, but I really, really feel that the GHC heavyweight title scene seriously needs some refreshing. I mean, there's only so many com opponents that you can throw at uh, Sugiura before it, it's... No, it is. It's not. It is tedious. It's just gotten to a point of practical desperation. Um, I mean, the last three opponents being Bison Smith, Prince Albert, or Bernard, sorry, Albert, his old name. Uh, Prince Bernard and um, Giant Bernard, sorry, guys. Um, you know, I, I started following him in America, so. And uh, Trevor Murdoch from. <laughs> yeah, Trevor Murdoch. Uh, I'm not trying to shit on those three guys. Uh, I'm sure they've had their day elsewhere. I'm not going to judge them, but in terms of a GHC, uh, you know, in terms of the main event, the big prize of Noah, God, you know they're getting desperate. Um, when I I'm all for Gaijin participation, believe me. Uh, when it's done properly, when it's done appropriately, uh, you know, Prince Devitt is a fantastic Gaijin champion, um, and there have been many in past, but uh, last three opponents, just weak, 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 weak stuff. Um, as I've said before, I would really, really love to see some 
them further the brand wars or even bring a new company entirely in. They definitely have that option, though. I don't think they're going to pounce on it. They definitely have that option with the uh, the newly announced All Together show that will be taking place, I believe, in August, uh, hosted by Muto Keiji of All Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, the owner and president of All Japan, I believe. Um, the event is going to feature all three of the major uh, promotions in one card for uh, to I'm not sure if it's a fundraiser or simply a tribute show, but it is in commemoration. In, pardon me, in it is um, in respect of the the tragedies of Fukushima, the earthquake, the tsunami of uh, Japan of last March. Um, this is really appropriate. It, it had to be done. Um, my imaginary hat off to. Uh, Mr. Muto. So, on to Morishima. Um, ah, pardon the rant, guys. Uh, like I said, this is full improv, so bear with me here. This is my third video now. So, Okay, Morishima. Um, yeah, I, I think it pretty much goes without saying. Having Morishima on top, once again, uh, would obviously refresh the heavyweight scene. Uh, I think the argument... I suppose it's not an argument, but the ideology that, you know, it wouldn't draw interest to the heavyweight scene, that's ridiculous. Although I haven't seen anyone say it yet. Um, but uh, I've actually seen quite a bit of opposition towards uh, Morishima um, for reasons that I suppose I'll tackle here. Uh, and like I said, I'll, I'll, remain, I'll keep the, uh, the individuals anonymous as uh, I'm not going to name them out individually. That's, you know, simply unfair. Um, like I said before, guys, I'll put it in the description box, but go check out uh, Purodas TV forums, um, hosted by uh, Daniel of Daniel Talks Purodas and uh, Ichiban. Um, um, yeah, uh, Morishima, um, with his booking, sorry guys, uh, some noise in the other room, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, Morishima's booking this year has been really curious. Uh, he's been booked... <sighs> He has been booked very low in the cards uh, many times in what I feel just pointless tag team matches. Um, you know, forgive me, but that's just how I view it. Uh, you know, little squash matching, little squash matches opening cards. Just, just sad uh, to see uh, Morishima uh, reduced to that. Um, now I've, I. <laughs> I suppose I'll just jump right into this. Um, the there's a particular individual who essentially made a couple large bold points, saying that essentially Morishima has not been booked poorly. Uh, you know he's had a couple of squash matches, which apparently makes him look impressive. And uh, you know uh, he went toe to toe with Takayama. That's putting him over. Um, yeah, uh, I'll just stop there and share my feelings on that. Morishima has not been booked. The way I see it, Morishima has simply not been booked effectively this year whatsoever. Um, squash matches, I'm sorry. Squash matches? Low on the card with a guy like Morishima? That simply does not put him over. Um, as a matter of fact, the, the, the days of monstrous squash matches are so... They're, they're just so primitive and boring, in my opinion. You know, it, it's fun to watch a guy like Takayama squash someone like, you know, Inoue Masao, but... Oh, does it really put them over? And in regards to the Takayama match, seriously, guys? Go, Takayama going over Morishima? Like, this match... If this, if this was the call, this match shouldn't have taken place in the first place. Sorry, it shouldn't have taken place at all. Um, the argument that Takayama, you know, Takayama can give Morishima a rub because he's, you know, the seasoned veteran. And look, I know the seniority uh, payout and, you know, booking system of Japan. I know the veterans are definitely going to be treated, especially. I'm well aware of that. Um, but the idea that Morishima got a rub from that Takayama match... That match was awful. Um, it's no disrespect to Takayama. I'm a, I've I love Takayama's work. Uh, 
historically speaking. Uh, I really, really want, for the sake of the guy's health, I really want the guy to retire. I do. Um, he's he's he suffered a stroke. He's just been intensely beaten his entire career. That he's completely out of shape. I really, uh, I want to. I don't want to be too bold here, but the last thing we need is a Masawa, another Masawa incident on our hands, guys. Um, I think that the tag booking with Sano is pretty cool, but the argument that okay, well, M Morishima kicked out of the Everest German suplex. That apparently is a rub. I totally disagree. I mean, Morishima hardly was even, you know, lifted off his feet in the first place. Uh, and since Morishima didn't actually tap out or get pinned, that's also apparently a rub or, you know, getting Morishima over. It's, uh, once again, like, how is, how is being choked unconscious by an old, completely out of shape guy who suffered a stroke and has put... I'm sorry, guys. Well, Takeyama cannot put on that great of a match anymore. There's a reason he's in the tag division. And uh, I'll touch base on the Kenta match some other time. But, like I said, for the sake of his health, I really wish... I want I, I really want to see Takeyama retire or slow down. Or, I really do have a lot of respect for the guy, but I fear for his health. I really do. Um, the ideology that uh, getting choked unconscious by an old broken down, out of shape man who suffered a stroke, who's much older, uh, w way over the hill. The ideology that that's getting a young, very talented, very, very accessible, Morishima can work with anyone, the, the ideology that that's getting Morishima over, I think is just ridiculous. And, uh, you know, the, the argument that, oh, well, it, it builds up to a third match because Morishima now twice has lost to Takayama historically, and People can't wait for the third one. Well, by the time the third one rolls around, Takayama, is he even going to be able to walk, let alone lift his knees anymore? That's no disrespect intended. Takayama only has so much left. And the ideology that this is building up for a third match, like, no way. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to love to see a third match, but... Um, yeah, the Morishima booking, uh, really sad... Such an amazing athlete for his size, a man who can truly work with anyone, as I said. Um, I won't dive into all the Morishima arguments. Um, I don't want to be the, you know, the grand Morishima defender. I didn't really follow his stuff in ROH, but I just found those arguments really weak. Uh, I think the GHC heavyweight scene would be a lot better off if Morishima had won, which I really think he should have, the title back in December. Um, or late November, uh, forgive me guys, I forget when the Higuchi show's date, the exact date was. But, okay, don't let this rant on too long. Uh, I really wanted to get my feelings out on this. Uh, I might touch base on it a bit more. I'll definitely touch base on Noah booking a bit more. Uh, I hope to be doing some joint booking videos or some fantasy booking videos about Pro Wrestling Noah, New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Japan Pro Wrestling, etc. Maybe even some, uh, you know, dual partnership with another uh, YouTube user here. Uh, I know I'd love to do some booking with uh, Sean Carlton Zero. Not sure if you wanted me to. Not sure if you wanted me to say that yet. But, um, anyways, guys, uh, I'm approaching the time limit, so um, I'll carry this out. I hope this hasn't dragged on too long, guys, and I hope I haven't spoken too loudly, uh, too fast. <laughs> I know I have that habit when I get rather excited. Hopefully, my eyes are meeting the camera more now. Um, it's also the midday, so I'm not as tired. So um, I'll, I'll probably post another video or two today. I'm trying to get my, my channel, you know, up to a decent jogging pace. Uh, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. Wild Discipline here. Check out my channel. Just up last night. So um, hope you love it. Bye, Penny.